Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, a couple of days ago, I let you know that Firefox is going to be getting more AR because there was a new proofreading feature for chatbots, which is a new grammar check and writing feature that is currently being tested in the nightly version of Firefox. Now, that video will be linked down below and in the end screen. And my reason for mentioning that is because it seems that Mozilla is so-called dipping their toe a little bit further into the AR game because Mozilla now has released an AR-powered assistant extension for Firefox, which is called Orbit, which can summarize long emails, documents, web articles, and videos, according to Mozilla. Now, this is not a feature that's built into Firefox, but it is an extension from the Firefox add-ons website that you can download for free. So if you are into the AR game and you'd like a little bit more AR in the browser, then you can download Orbit from the add-ons website of Firefox. So to do this, we would just head uh, to the Manage Extensions if you have that enabled, or you can just get to this in Settings. And we're just going to do a search for Orbit. And that'll take us over to the website. And here we can see Orbit, it's still in beta. AR Assistant and Content Summarizer, and it's maintained and developed by Mozilla Firefox. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on that, and then I'm going to add to Firefox. And just take note, it says access your data for all websites, hide and show browser tabs, access browser tabs. We're going to add that. And there we go. Now something to take note of, is that it needs at least you to agree to essential data collection only. You've got to agree to essential and optional, and you've got to agree to essential. So if you don't agree to essential at least, then you have to decline and uninstall. And um, Obviously, um, that's what it needs to work. And agree to essential data collection, and there we go. Now, how this all works is... What we need to do is, first of all, I'm just going to head over to, and also we can see now it's installed as a extension in the Firefox web browser. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to head over to my YouTube channel, and just to show you how this all works, just to give you a general idea. Obviously, you can fiddle around with this, but it's actually quite simple. Let's head to our extensions, click on Orbit, and... Just make sure it's enabled if it hasn't done so already. And you can summarize this page. So it looks very similar to other chatbots in other browsers like Copilot or Leo in Brave, where it does all of that from the actual site panel. So you've got a couple of things you can do here. So if we click out of that, and once it's enabled, by the way, if I head over to a another website, Wikipedia as an example, you can see that I've got this little orb, for want of a better word, which we can drag around, little widget, and we've got a couple of options. So I can summarize, ask orbit, we can head to settings, and here we've got a couple of settings, orb format, dynamic default, you've got minimal, response format, summary, you've got a couple of options here, what it can do if um, for different summary options and so on. So you can auto summarize email, YouTube, auto summarize email and YouTube. So it can, it can, to some extent or the other, summarize a video. So with this little orb enabled, I can, as an example, ask Orbit directly from that little orb. And I'm just going to go high. And there we go. So um, just like any other AI chatbot, um, it works more or less the same. So as mentioned, this isn't bundled by default uh, in the actual browser. It's uh, something that's available as an extension if you are into AI. So I think that's good news where although Mozilla Firefox, um, if we head to the home page, as I've mentioned previously, and we head to our settings, Firefox Labs, they have got... Um, AR chatbot adds chatbot of your choice to the sidebar. Now this is a third. This is giving you access to third-party AR chatbots like Google Gemini, 
ChatGPT and so on. They aren't built directly into the browser. So there is no actual chatbot that's built directly into Firefox, which I think is good news. But this, as mentioned, the so-called Orbit brings that support a little bit kind of more na- brings it and makes it a little bit more native to the browser. So you've got a couple of options. And the good news with this is if you don't want this enabled, this little orb, you can just snooze orbit and there we go. It's gone and it's disappeared. And obviously you can always just, um, you can remove the extension. You can um, pin that to your toolbar. Uh, you can move it up and down in your extensions, fly out and dialogue. So just bringing that to your attention, if you if AI is your thing and you are using the Firefox web browser. Now, in regards to um, Orbit, there are a couple of things you just need to take note of, is that um, Orbit doesn't require an account to use, okay? So, and the feature does not save summaries in the cloud, according to Mozilla. So if you are concerned about privacy, Mozilla says Orbit summaries are only available on the page that you are actually on. And they also say that as soon as you navigate away from that page, Orbit erases that actual session. Mozilla also mentions that your queries are never shared. And Mozilla claims that it doesn't use your data for AI training. Okay, so that's according to Mozilla if you are concerned about privacy. Now, Orbit is built in a modular fashion to enable Mozilla to swap out LLMs, large language models, if a better open source model comes along in the future. And Mozilla says the trade-off of not sharing user data with the model is that we cannot influence the model or train it according to the release notes for Orbit and this extension. And also something else to take note of is that Orbit is only currently restricted to English queries and summaries. So obviously it's still in beta. There's still a bit of work to do, but just bringing that to your attention um, in case you're unaware and AI is your thing, that extension now is available from the Firefox add-ons website and store. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.